So now, everybody's having trouble believing that you are 90, 90 years young. Yes, I was born July the 7th, 1932. And being over in Ghana was really a blessed experience. And I told my daughter, if I never get back to Africa again, I can say at least I made it once. And I was so amazed and to see that mall that we were in, to see all of our people mm. and you know, a couple of others. We're at home, you see the more of the others right. and a couple of ours, you know. And it's just so amazing to see how well they're doing. You know, well, one thing, they built the United States. Okay? Okay. Break it on you know, down. I mean, they say, them other folks, mm -hmm. that we can't learn. So if we can't learn, how come we have so many doctors, lawyers, scientists, and how come these people that they brought over here to make things out of them were educated enough to build this country? God bless them. And God bless our people that are doing so well here. And I truly hope that one day I'll get back again. But I do thank God that he gave me the chance to get here once. Well, you heard it from Miss Betty. You know and yes, Miss Betty is 90 and still moving. I live by myself. I take care of myself. I even so drive. What? Oh yeah. I mean, I don't drive like I used to, you know, on the highways and stuff, because to make crazy people. But I, I go to the market, to church, and um, doctor's appointments, because I guess I've always been independent, and I don't like waiting for anyone, uh -huh. you know, right. I mean, it's like, like before I got the car, my daughter, you know, say, Mom, I'll take it, because after I moved into a senior place, mm -hmm. I used to go on a bus, honey. You just doing and, your thing. Yeah, and she said, Mom, I told you I'd take you shopping. I would have been to the store back before she even thought about coming. <laughs> so I'm this, doing And this her back here, right? That's her right there. <laughs> And yes, I am blessed by the best. And he only promised 70 years. He has given me 20 over so far. That's right, you're gonna make it to 100. Amen. You know why? Because 99 and a half won't do. <laughs> See, you're right. <laughs> Give you some more Hezekiah Walker there. Yeah? <laughs> Lord, I'm running, trying to make a hundred cut. Ninety-nine and a half won't do. And, and guess what? My niece, one of my nieces at home, and, and from work, she, our church will be a hundred and fifty years old. Um, well, we see we were a hundred and thirty-two. So eighteen years, right? Yeah, eighteen years. We'll be. Uh, 150 years old. My niece said, Aunt, my Aunt Betty, you ain't going nowhere. You're going to be right here delegating and telling us what to do and how to do it. And I'll be 108. Yeah. Oh, oh, if, yeah. if I make it to the 150th, I would be 108. 108. Well, yeah. if so, anybody can do it, it's going to be so you. So now I'm pushing for 100. When I get to 100, you, you take it I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask him for the next you get eight more years. <laughs> Don't want to shoot for 10 more after right. that. They're making the one 10. <laughs> well, oh, it, it it's been such a joy. I tell you. I, you know, you're going to laugh. What's up? I was on the Zoom with her that last one. I, I, okay. Now, I don't know why my brain told me your name was Brian. Rodney? Brian. Brian. 
And I said, tell me about well, where's Brian? And they said, I don't know, his name is Jay. I said, no, no, no. So I asked Kim. She said, no, Mom, it's Jay. I said, well, I'm sure he said Brian. She said, Mom, he said Jay. <laughs> it's Jay. <laughs> well, it has been a pleasure having you. And I hate to say, I hate to see this end. Me too. It's, we should have a couple more days. Yeah. To you know, do, do a little more, but it was a blessing. I'm glad she uh, loves her mother enough to give it to me mm. for my birthday present. And I enjoyed it. And you did an excellent well, thank job. You. Thank you so yes, much. You thank you. you. you did I appreciate you it. You did an that excellent made, that job. That means everything to me right yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. All did. right. Well, okay. thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Lance did a great job. Okay. And so oh, this, honey, he's a, and he's he a good blessing. Time. Well, here's the deal, everybody. Y'all know yes. what to do. This is, what would you say that other uh, elders should come on a trip like this? Yes, because one, one of the uh, ladies that's on now, she said she wanted to bring her mother, and her mother said, no, she don't want to dry, uh, come or travel. I told her, all my daughter has to do is say, Mom, we're going, and sometimes I don't even remember where we're going, but I tell her, just let me know when to be ready. And now she goes. That's and the deal. I go. Okay? Excellent. Excellent. And I'm going to be doing it as long as she will take it. Yes, there it is. <laughs> so you heard it directly from Miss yes. Betty. Everybody, even at 90, yes. can still be a part of these experiences. Surely. And it's beautiful. Yeah. You know, get out. So we're ready for you to come on the next one. How about that? Hey, if she does, I'll be there. That's it. <laughs> Subscribe, like, share. Okay. Take care. Adventures of Darren and Destiny. And Darren and Destiny are twin brother and sister. And you go on their adventures throughout the African diaspora, meaning so African diaspora destinations, primarily focused in Africa, but we go to South America, we're gonna to go to the Caribbean. Their first book is going to take you to Ghana. And then we're gonna go on a safari. And from there, we're gonna to go to Ethiopia. And then we go to Salvador, Brazil. And what the goal is, is to be able to inspire curiosity in the continent of Africa, in our children from a very young age, and to really tell a more accurate story. Most of our children are exposed to negative images, late night infomercials about how bad things are, everybody's sick, everybody's poor, everyone's uneducated, but that's simply not true. So what Darren and Destiny and their family do is they go to different African destinations. They are learning about these different places. You're beginning to see positive images, but still telling the truth. I mean, that's the important thing, to tell the truth about some of the things that have occurred. But it's all done on our children's level so they begin to understand it. And it begins to pique their curiosity. They begin to learn more. And hopefully one day they will want to explore and visit the continent of Africa and its many countries. There's just so much that Darren and Destiny are able to do and as they're doing it, it's, it's like they begin to open the minds of a, a new generation and they don't get bombarded and indoctrinated with negativity. They're actually able to see positivity and inspiring images and messages about the African diaspora as well as those who are still indigenous to the continent of Africa, and they begin to learn more and, uh, and just see things differently. So I'm excited about introducing the adventures of Darren and Destiny.